So I'm looking right now at this Bitcoin dominance chart and it is about to break this support trend line guys. So 18 months of support and right now we are on the brink of breaking this support trend line. Plus look at this multiple bearish divergences on the weekly time frame. If Bitcoin dominance will break this support trend line, then it is highly likely that we might see an altcoin season, guys. So if you like this kind of content, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and of course, click that notification bell. What is up, guys? My name is Chill, and welcome to another video. So we'll talk about Bitcoin dominance today, Ethereum ETF, spot ETF approval, and of course, possible alt season, guys. So this is what you've all been waiting for. And we're going to look at some of the altcoin that might pump together with Ethereum, guys. So you are looking right now at this Bitcoin dominance weekly time frame. And look at this, guys. Uh, we have this weekly candle about to break down below this support trend line and this is going to be our confirmation for a possible alt season guys so weekly candle close is very very important so we need to keep an eye on this the weekly candle opened last may 20 so we are expecting tomorrow guys that is going to be monday and that will confirm if the weekly candle of the Bitcoin dominance going to close below the support or going to bounce back up here. This weekly candle closing below the support will confirm a possible break of trend here. 18 months of trend, trend line here. And also we have a confluence, of course, using chart prime oscillator guys we have multiple bearish divergence form forming on the oscillator also i've uh, recently made a video about ethereum spot etf uh so this is coming from Reuters, guys u.s securities and exchange commission approves exchange application to list spot ether etfs so ethereum could actually lead this out season so let's go check out ethereum's chart and of course what will be the possible targets in the coming days plus we're going to look at some of the altcoins as well all right so let's look at uh let's go check out first ethereum's weekly time frame and this is one of the charts that i've shared with you on my previous live streams and of course if you are in our discord community guys this was the buy zones that i've Shared previously so when ethereum was trading at around four thousand dollars i have already made my buy zones here dca buy zones and of course it's so what you can see on the chart right now uh, i have used the fibonacci retracement levels uh and of course chart prime oscillator here guys was already in the overbought area so i was actually expecting a correction back to this fibonacci retracement levels and Here's the latest chart, guys. We got that beautiful downtrend. Uh, Ethereum revisited the $2,800, which is one of our DZA buy zones. And right now we are up beautiful, beautiful buy zones here. We're up by almost 40% from our spot DCA buy zones. If you have missed my previous buy zones here, support trend line buy zones, for long term, we still have a lot of chance, guys. So congratulations to those who are in our Discord community. And right now, looking at the Ethereum's weekly time frame, shorter time frame, uh, target remains at $4,000. We have a falling wedge pattern here. And the short term target for this falling wedge pattern will be the top of the wedge. And that will give us four thousand dollar target while looking at the possible bull flag guys look at this we have this possible bull flag we 
have this flag here and this pole. So this is how we are going to get this target here. We drag a line from the top of the flag down to the bottom here, which will serve as our pole. And then we will drag this line up here to get our final target. So probably for this bull flag, the target for this bull flag will be $5,000. So that will be our medium to long-term target for Ethereum. So that is going to be my target using if you are trading leverage and if you're trading futures. But if you are holding spot, uh, my possible all-time high for Ethereum probably is going to be around $6,000. So somewhere around $5,000 to $6,500, that is going to be my all-time high for Ethereum. But it could go up to $10,000. We don't know. Nobody knows. But right now, we remain conservative by, of course, taking profits, securing some profits along the way. And look at this oscillator on the weekly time frame. We got a beautiful bounce from that zero level, guys. So this is bullish um, formation on the weekly time frame. Let's go check out the daily time frame. So looking at the daily time frame, we previously had this double uh, bullish divergence. Look at that. Price is forming um, lower lows while the oscillator fails to make new lows, guys. So we have this double bullish divergence from our uh, chart prime oscillator if you want to take advantage of chart prime you can get up to 50 percent using my referral link in the description down below so short term i have this trade setup guys for ethereum so that is going to be a nine percent target short term course uh, all charts on CA are for educational purposes only and should not be considered as a financial advice so this is going to be my target short term four thousand dollars we still have this uh bullish formation on the oscillator of course on the uh, four hour time frame shorter time frame we are seeing some rejection at around this level guys you see that the uh bears are trying to push the price um at around this area here so we have some selling pressure from 3800 but uh, if you're going to zoom out we actually have this falling wedge pattern with the ideal breakout target of four thousand dollars plus if you are going to zoom out on the daily time frame we have this bigger bull flag which will give us a five thousand dollar target so that will be the short term to medium term target for ethereum four hour time frame oscillator still looking bullish we're trading above zero we are uh we still have a lot of gas to move up up to the overbought area so i still uh in my own opinion i think we still have that um power to move up to four thousand dollars maximum five thousand dollars short term possible all-time high in my own opinion will be around six thousand to six thousand five hundred that will be my take profit zone for ethereum you know i always remain conservative guys so that's my analysis for ethereum and if you are still watching this video up to this point, don't forget to smash that like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel and, of course, click that notification bell. So one more chart that you need to keep an eye on will be Ethereum Classic, guys. So let's go check out that chart because if Ethereum is going to pump to $4,000, there is highly likely almost 99% Ethereum Classic is going to follow ethereum's price action but faster so looking at ethereum classic we have this previous buy zone bullish order block zone and buy zone here another long position at around 15 dollars right now we are at 31 so let's see how many percent was that so we have actually pumped by almost 200 percent from ours from the bullish order block here of course using chart prime indicator plus 
we have our previous long position here breakout and right now same chart pattern and price action guys we got rejected from the 39 dollar that the that is the 4000 level for ethereum and we got a beautiful retest of support here using our fibonacci retracement tool we have reached the 23 dollar and right now we are seeing that beautiful bounce so same target up to 40 dollar for ethereum classic maximum up to 50 dollar area here which is our previous pivot point here for uh ethereum classic so if you're going to zoom out for a much bigger time frame and if we're going to measure this swing high and swing low at around 12 dollar we'll be able to get this uh fibonacci retracement targets and that will give us 76 tar uh 76 dollar guys that will be our minimum look at this this is also in confluence with our previous pivot point here so these are the long-term targets for ethereum classic watch out for this levels we are still uh very far from that fibonacci retracement level another 250 percent if we are going to reach that 61.8 fibonacci golden ratio and that will be around 115 dollars for ethereum classic so short term watch out for a possible retest of 40 dollars up to 50 dollars for ethereum classic so that's it for today guys don't forget to smash that like button guys subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell i'll see you guys on the next one Bye bye